Hello everyone, you're watching your full guide to Sorbstat. This is a series of videos where I'll show you everything there is to know about Sorbstat. In the previous video, I explained how to create a project, how to analyze domains, and how to analyze URLs. And today we're getting to keyword research. To start keyword research, you have to enter a keyword here, the one that you're interested in. I'm going to use by car keyword, this commercial keyword, and we'll have a lot of results to work with. Similar to domain analysis, keyword analysis starts with an overview page, so let me show you what you can find here. At the top you have four blocks with information about the keyword. First metric here is the search volume. It shows you how many times people use this keyword in search in the United States over the last month. I'm saying United States because I'm using google.com database. Uh, you can switch to the country you like from this list and get the data for United Kingdom, Canada or any other country on this list. Next metric is competition in Google AdWords. It shows you how competitive the keyword is in advertising. Then we have the average cost per click and keyword difficulty. Keyword difficulty is your competition in organic search. So this is the competition in Google AdWords and this is the competition for a keyword in organic search. I will explain how keyword difficulty works in a minute. So below these four metrics that we have for this keyword, we have lists of keywords related to this keyword. Uh, in the list of organic keywords, you get the list of uh, phrase match keywords, which means that all of the keywords on this list will have all of these words included in some form. Right next to it, we have as keywords. These are also phrase match keywords, so all of these have words uh, by a and the car. But the main difference here is these are just the keywords that are used in PPC campaigns. We'll take a closer look at both of these lists as we keep on analyzing keywords. Next, we have keyword trends. This is the same information you can get from Google Trends. In case you want to check that you don't have to switch to Google Trends, you can browse it in Sorbstat. And then you have a breakdown of keyword difficulty. Now I will explain to you how it works and what it means. Well, first of all, you can hover over the question mark and get explanation for any metric in Sorbstat. In this case, it's useful to take a look at the ranges of keyword difficulty. So 41 to 60 is a difficult keyword, which means our keyword is a difficult keyword to rank for. And in the table below, we explain why it is a difficult keyword to rank for. The main part here is this list of pages. These are the top 10 pages that rank for a keyword you've entered. The main metrics here are SERPs to trust rank, SERPs at page rank, and the number of external backlinks incoming to this page. So the more pages with higher trust rank and higher number of backlinks you have, the harder it is to rank for the keyword because you will compete with these pages. Serps that accounts just for backlinks that are point to this page and not for the whole website. If we don't have any information backlinks in our database for a page that is in top 10 results for a keyword, it doesn't affect keyword difficulty at all. And at the top here you have three other metrics that we account for, but these are not as important as uh, trust rank, page rank and number of backlinks. First one is the number of main pages in SERP. If there is a website that targets a keyword with this main page, it increases the difficulty of a keyword. For example, you can see here that we have three main pages for this keyword. And all of these pages have a lot of backlinks and higher SERPs at trust rank and page rank, therefore increasing the difficulty. Next metric is the number of domains where exact match keyword is used in title. And right next to it is the number of pages where the exact match keyword is used in title. All of these affect the keyword difficulty, so keyword difficulty is a combination of these metrics. The higher it is, the harder it is to rank for a keyword. Next on the overview page we have a list of competitors in organic search. These are not the websites that rank at the top of the keyword you've entered, but the websites that rank for the highest number of phrase match keywords, or for the keywords from the organic keywords list. The important metrics here are all keywords and common keywords. All keywords shows you how many keywords the website ranks for, and common keywords shows you how many of those keywords are phrase match keywords for the one you've entered. So Edmonds.com ranks for 4000 keywords that are phrase match keywords for keyword buy a car. Right here you can find your top competitors, you can see what website takes the most results in SERPs for the keywords you may be targeting. Next we have competitors graph. It shows you the same websites you can find in this list and it shows how closely related they are. Next we have competitors in S, it's pretty much the same list as competitors in organic search, but this time we show you websites that use the highest number of phrase match keywords in ads. And at the very bottom of the overview page you have as examples. So you can see how the paid search ads look like in SERPs. You can see how the descriptions look like and what pages are used to target a keyword you've entered. So that's it about the overview page. Now let's go to the menu on the left and see what we have here. The first part here is SEO research and the first menu here is keyword selection. In keyword selection you get a full list of phrase match keywords, the ones you saw at the overview page. At the top here you can switch to any other database and get the same list for Google United Kingdom, Australia, Canada and so on. And some of the metrics here are the keyword itself, 
keyword difficulty, search volume, search volume for the last month, cost per click, competition and words, number of results found by Google, and indicator if there are any social domains and SERPs for the keyword. Let me explain about the search volume and search volume for the last month. We've added this so you can work with seasonal keywords. In the keyword difficulty column, you may encounter keywords where there is no information about keyword difficulty. If that happens, it means we haven't gotten to that keyword just yet and we'll gather the information for it pretty soon. You can also use filters to get just the keywords you're looking for. I've shown you how to work with filters in domain analysis video. It's pretty much the same filtering system, but you don't have filters for domains here, such as domains position for a keyword or duplicate positions. And you actually don't need those when you're analyzing a keyword. As any other report in SERP set, you can export it and work with it in a spreadsheet. Next, we have related keywords. I'm going to change the keyword I'm using to something else like fitment because it gives better results in related keywords section. For those who don't know, fitment is a word related to fitting the wheels on a car in different fashions, like here. So let me first explain what related keywords are. These are kind of LSI keywords. We take the keyword you've entered, we analyze it, we see what pages rank for that keyword. Then we check what other keywords those pages rank for, and when we find enough intersections between those keywords, we add them to this list. So basically you have keywords for which pages that rank for fitment also rank for. Here's why it's important. It's very different from phrase match keywords because you can get keywords here that don't have any word from your initial request. For example, we've entered the word fitment here and right here on the list we have keywords like to extend rims and tires, Chevy Avalanche lifted peaks, Audi wheel offset. All of these keywords are related to fitment but none of them include the word fitment itself. So you know that your audience will be using these keywords as well. Every time you do a keyword research, I recommend using related keywords because you'll find some keywords you cannot think of. You have your regular metrics in here, search volume, cost per click, competition and words. And the one addition here is connection strength. It shows you how many pages that rank for the keyword fitment rank for this certain keyword. So you can see how relevant it is to your subject. Let's move on next, we have search suggestions. Search suggestions are suggestions you see as you type something in Google. For example, if you start typing in search suggestions, you will get search suggestions about search suggestions. And what we do is we get search suggestions for every possible variation of a keyword you've entered. I'm going to switch back to buy a car keyword so we get better results here. To get source suggestions, instead of going to Google and typing in buy a car in all variations, you can just type that keyword in the set and get every possible source suggestion for it. In this example, we have more than 2000 source suggestions. You can use this filter to get just the source suggestions with the words you're interested in, such as dealership, for example, and you will get source suggestions related to buying a car from dealership. But the most interesting part about source suggestions here is the only questions part. You can find them in content marketing tab here, but I will show it to you right now. So when you click only questions or when you go to the content marketing menu and click on search questions, you will get source suggestions in forms of questions. So questions that people type into Google. For example, how to buy a car or what paperwork is necessary to buy a car. All of these questions are from your audience, they are interested in it and they want to find an answer. These are great ideas for your content and great keywords to target as well. So that is all about source suggestions. You have just the source suggestions and source suggestions in forms of questions. So let's move on next. We have the top pages menu here. Top pages feature shows you the number of pages which rank for the highest number of phrase matched keywords. Note that this list will be different from the competitors in organic search because in that list we are looking at the website as a whole and in this case we are looking for a certain page. So right here you can see how many phrase matched keywords a page ranks for what is the page, you can see how many Facebook shares it got, LinkedIn, Google Plus shares, and its potential traffic. Potential traffic is the maximum possible amount of traffic this page can get from these keywords. So when you're analyzing a keyword, make sure to check out the top pages because you will see pages which rank for a lot of keywords you are interested in. Next feature we have is the competitors. I've shown it to you in the overview page, it's pretty much the same list, but it's expanded. Right here you can find all of the top competitors for the keyword. Next on our list is PPC Research. Let's start with keywords. Here you get the list of phrase match keywords which are used in ads by websites across Google and you get information about the keywords. You can see the search volume, cost per click and you can see the ads examples. You can see what page is used to target a keyword and you can see how the ad looks like, what description is used, what is the title of the page. You also get information about competition in Google AdWords. So everything you need to prepare a PPC campaign for a keyword. Next you get the list of competitors in PPC campaigns. Again, this is the same list I've shown you on the overview page. So nothing new here. 
Next we have as examples. This is where you get a list of pages which are used to target the phrase match keywords. For example, you can see that this page is used to target these keywords in PPC campaigns. And you can analyze this list of keywords and use this data for your own PPC campaign. And the last feature in PPC research is add research. It's similar to the previous one, but instead of the list of pages, you get a list of campaigns. So you can analyze your competitors' campaigns. You can see what keywords are targeting with what pages. All of these features are useful if you plan to run a PPC campaign with the keyword you're analyzing. Next, we have content marketing and search questions. I have already shown you how to work with them and what they show. And the last thing about keyword research we have here is the SERP analysis and top by keyword. Right here, you can thoroughly analyze the SERP for a keyword. You get the information you had in overview page, such as keyword difficulty, search volume, competition, and words, cost per click, and number of related keywords. You also get the top pages for a keyword, the ones that rank for the highest number of phrase match keywords. And you have all of the top 100 pages which rank for a keyword on one page. Also, you can see the as examples here. And we also have a link here which will take you to Google results for the keyword if you want to see how they look like. So that's it about the keyword research. In the next video, I will tell you about backlink analysis, so don't miss it. If you have any questions, contact our support. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.